Hello friends, so welcome back to Playwright with Java Sessions. So this video is going to be a short video. And in this video, we're going to discuss about how to find the coordinates of an element in a page and how to find the size of an element in a page. So today, uh, we're going to discuss about height and height and coordinates of an height and width and coordinates of an element in a page using this uh, application called buttons, let code dot in slash buttons. So in this page, let us find coordinates and size of a button for the second button, which is a find location. So first let me explain how to find the, how does it give us the coordinates and how does it calculate height and width. Now, if you consider, uh, here if you consider, it's gonna take this point as a base point to calculate the coordinates. Now uh, it's going to take from the extreme left hand side. Now this is going to be the x coordinate and it's going to take from top to this point and it's going to take this as a y coordinate. It is not going to take the center point, it is going to take the topmost point or, or extreme left hand side, top left hand side top, uh, point as the base point to calculate the coordinates. Now coming to the size of these buttons, or in fact for any element, when you inspect any element here, and so this is the element in the DOM, and if you go to computed tab here, uh, beside this slide, beside styles, here you could find, you could, you could see the parameters or you could, you could see the dimensions of this element. Here you could see, there is padding and there is a border and there's a margin and there's a position of this element. And here the innermost, you could see something called as 96.047, which is the width. So width of this element is 96 and it is having 16 as padding and in the left hand side, 16 padding in the right hand side. So 32 in total. And then one pixel, one pixel as a margin, as a border. So two, so 32 plus two, which is 34. And then 96 is the width. So 96 plus 34, it's gonna be around 130. 130 is the width. And if you take the height of this element, so 24 is the height. So 24 plus it has seven, the top and sort of the bottom. So in total it's 14 pixel as the padding and then here it is having one pixel as the border and at the top and one pixel at the border at the bottom so in total two so 24 plus 16 so it's going to be 40 so 40 pixel is the height of this button and 130 pixel is the width of this button now let us find this using playwright so let's uh, go back to our code. Let us create a class here. And I'll be naming it dimensions. Dimensions test. So this is our class. And let me create a main method here. So inside main method, our first step is to create an object for playwright. Of course, playwright is an interface. So we have something called as playwright dot create method, which starts the playwright engine. And then finally we have to stop the playwright engine. So I'm going to write that code as well. And we have to insert our code in between these two lines. Now using this playwright object, there is now we can select whatever browser uh, we want. Uh, for now, I'm going to stick with Chromium. And then we have something called as launch. Now it's going to launch the browser. Now by default, it's going to launch in a headless mode, but if we want to launch the browser in a head mode, then we have to specify launch options inside this launch method. Now we have a launch options directly. We can specify here inside the launch method itself. So new launch options. Now on this launch options, we have a method called set headless where we should pass false because we want it to be headed 
and then we could uh, set channel as well where we can specify with the browser what we want so for now i want to invoke using chrome browser so this is how i uh, launch this is how i launch a browser so let us name it as a browser so now let's resolve this variable now it's going to resolve as a browser yeah now out of this browser we're going to create something called as a browser context using new context is the method which creates the browser context and let me name it browser context now let us resolve this variable yes now we have the browser context now using this browser context we should create a new page now let us resolve this variable let us store this object in a variable called page and let us resolve it okay now this is the common code that we are looking uh, that we are writing in every session or that we are looking into now using this page variable we can invoke or we can navigate uh, certain url so in our case we want to navigate to button space here let us copy the url directly and let us paste it here right now after navigating to that page now our next priority is to identify the element how to identify the element we have a method called locator which going to give us the locator and he going to and here we going to specify the strategy uh, so let us right click and let us inspect so yeah this is the element it is having id called position let's copy it so in css selector we specify hashtag for id so this is the locator and i'm going to specify uh, the name of this locator as button for time being of course it's going to resolve to a locator yes and now upon this locator there is a method called bounding box this method called bounding box now using this method we can find height and width x and y coordinates so here i'm going to get x coordinate and i'm going to get y coordinate similarly i'm going to get height and width it's going to give us yeah if you observe here x height y and width all these things are double so we should store these values some position so we should store in double i'm going to name it x here so let us copy the same thing and let us paste it in every line so now it is going to be y coordinate so y and here height let's copy this and let's name the last variable as width so this is how we calculate the x and y coordinates height and width of an uh, an uh, element now let us print this but here first let us print x coordinate and then y coordinate so x and y coordinate are going to be double so double i'm going to resolve using percentile d and then let us give tab space here so to give tab space we should use backslash t and i'm going to pass x and y okay so now let us create one more print up statement and here let us give height and let's specify here width and here instead of x and y we have to pass height and width so that's it 
And finally, we can close the page as well. I'm gonna close the page. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, this is how we calculate uh, the height and width. Let us run this program. Let's and let's see what the result is. Now it's gonna invoke the browser. It's gonna calculate and then it's gonna close it. Okay, so here we got an exception called, okay, so percentile, percentile D is not for double. So let us close this browser for time being. See that we should pass percentile F, not percentile D. So let's pass percentile F to this position. Let's run this program again. Now it should give us the valid values. Right. So if, if you observe, uh, we got X coordinate as 79.5 and Y coordinate as 338 and height, we got 40 and width, we got 130 as we calculate. So that's it guys in this video. So this is how we calculate height and width and coordinates of an any element uh, in, in Playwright. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if you like the content and yeah stay tuned to the other video i'll let you and uh, yeah see you guys catch you guys in the next video thank you